All right, Alex Stumpf with right. the pick. It's going to be left-handed pitcher. Ferris. Hunter Barco. Who's that? From the University of Florida. <laughs> so that... Buckle Mike was right. 44 for 44 for Buckle Mike. Buckle they Mike definitely spot. had that one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't know who um, that is. I'm not going to trash that. I just don't know who he is. Uh, I'm looking on Baseball America's list. He's 69th, so that's nice. Okay. Good number. Very nice. He was actually thirty wow. second out of high school. Huh. He was drafted by the Mets in twenty nineteen. Hey, I mean, he's from here. Put together yeah, a good year last know. year. I've never seen him pitch, so I don't really have much to say. Um, he had Tommy John surgery, so ah. that's um that's why he fell. He apparently was he – he would have been a first – like a first-round pick season ended due to Tommy John surgery. Okay. And profiles as a back of rotation, high likelihood big league starter given a clean recovery. Well, I'll take it. I'm going to try to find a uh, – try to find a video here. There we go. Congrats. We got a Gators fan. You know, it it does show something though that they're going these college arms that are probably a good bit closer, knowing what the system mm -hmm. looks like right now. That's kind of a good point. The pitching certainly behind. If you're looking into the next Pirates window, you go high school arms. Obviously, they're a good bit away. These guys should hopefully be able to fast track through the minors at least at a much better pace than a high school arm. Yeah. I mean, well, he's got a, you know, he's got the Tommy John surgery, but yeah. Yeah. Other than that. So when did he have that? This year. Mm. Mm. So, so he will be shut down until at least middle of next season, I would imagine. But here we go. So with that said, I mean, we'll go ahead. Do you want to watch? Yeah, let's watch this real quick. In some ways, Hunter Barco is very similar to the prospect he was back in high school, albeit now with a track record of SEC success. The six foot four southpaw relies mostly on his fastball slider combination. His fastball typically sits around 92 miles per hour and touches 95. And when he commands it well, it's plenty given the life it has and the lower slot cross-body delivery that causes some deception. His 80 mile per hour sweeping slider misses a ton of bats, and he can manipulate the shape of it to give it more of a curveball look at times. He sells his change up well with excellent arm speed. Barco has done an excellent job of consistently finding the strike zone in college, though there's improvement that can be made in terms of command within the zone with that funky delivery tough to repeat at times. He has a ceiling of being a number three or four type starter at the next level. Well, there we go. So there's that. <laughs> well, um, here's here's a thoughts? pretty cool t pitching ninja has a 33 second video of him just mowing down Alabama this year. Put it on the board. Put it on the board. <laughs> oh, Alabama. Keep sucks. Them Let's They're watch this. Year, but they suck. Here, let's do this. Uh, da, da, da. Got him. Just focus on being a head coach. How they going to be? You're wrong. He's worked his tail off as down. Got him. Boy, he was feel. Got him. He's the way I can pitch that and adjust to them. Uh, look programs. That's what they see midweek. This fog has got looking. Mez strikes out. There we go. Yeah, 
Yeah. I mean, durability seems to be an issue. He, he didn't pitch much in college. But yeah, I mean, as long as recovery goes well, which Tommy John surgery at this point is a pretty easily recoverable, coverable surgery. Like pitchers usually bounce back from it better than they were before, to be honest. Um, right. Yeah, I mean, not a bad pick. Like, like it's not like the high. It's not like the huge high upside pick. Like you know, like like we could have gotten, but there's that seems like a solid pick. They got Tamar Johnson. I, I mean, whatever. They got Tamar Johnson over there. It is what it is. They got two solid pitching prospects. And the the like, other th- you gotta r- realize that it's a long draft, and there has to be a strategy that plays out over three days. Right. The other thing too, I'm not saying this is going to happen, right? But the Lonnie White and Bubba Chandler didn't happen until day two, anyways. Too, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm not saying Brock Porter is going to sign. You know, going to. There might be another guy like, of that caliber because there are you're still hanging yeah, around. They, they got to a point where you just thought they weren't going to sign. It's too late now, and then Ben made miracles happen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,